Hey everyone, Andre Shadow here, and welcome back to Mixoray. Last time, we met this lovely young lady here on the title screen, Nagisa. And she turned out to be a yandere and murdered our cute girlfriend, whose beautiful eyes we will never see. Unless, of course, you imagine it. But anyway, so we're going to continue. Or... Actually... Yeah, let's just start a new game. I'll meet you back to whenever we get to the choice. Okay, so last time we did Itchy Galay, now we're going to do Honey Milk. Okay, teacup with some honey milk. Alright, let's see what poison we picked for today. Day one, awakening. Hello. Oh, you're awake? Hmm? What's up, bro? Hmm. Yeah, bro. Okay, no, I don't think she means it like that. Who are you? Huh? Do you have, like, amnesia or something? You haven't forgot about me or anything, right? No way. No way, no way, no way. There's no way you've forgotten about me, right? I hate to break it to you, but yeah. Really? Are you serious right now? You can't remember anything about me or yourself? Nope, nothing to my noggin. Your name is Kantaro. And my name is Rikana. Rikana Milfiori. You're a disgusting MMO addicted neat hermit. And I'm your beloved little sister. How could you have forgotten that? Very easily. Your moe moe little sister has come all this way to visit you, so show some gratitude. Well, remember anything yet? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy Monica. Okay, no. I'm not playing that. Asher. Bro, you were hit by a car. Wow, I guess you really don't remember her thing. So in this universe, I got hit by a car. In the last universe, I got hit in the noggin. You're lucky I was the first to find you. Just a little longer and you probably would have died. You could even say it's because of me being quick to call an ambulance that you were saved. How about a little thanks? <laughs> so once again I can be a complete jerk or indifferent sort of thanks. Jeez, you're such a klutz. You wouldn't even be able to feed yourself if I wasn't around. All you do is play your online games. What's so fun about grinding levels all day? It's just so addicting. You can't even take a bath alone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> At your age, you always complain when I'm not there. Or when I'm not in there with you. <laughs> that was a joke, of course. And that look on your face said you were taking it seriously. <laughs> yeah, that would have been awkward. Give me a break, I haven't seen this game in years. Sorry for messing with you, but hey, we're siblings. Let's just get along, okay? Alright. Bro, you must be tired. Don't push yourself too hard. I'm gonna go home now. 
I left you some honey milk in the fridge, so drink that and take it easy. I'll come see you tomorrow, too. Is there anything you want me to bring you? I don't know, maybe my Nintendo DS? Or my Nintendo 3DS? That way I can get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf? Well, even if there is, I'm not gonna bring it. Smell you later! Do 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 Okay. <laughs> the girl who called herself Rakana Milfiore went home. She seems to be my little sister. Remember that. Apparently she'll be back tomorrow to see me too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Rakana again. Refrigerator with honey milk. Hmm. A passbook and seal are also here. It looks like whoever owns this has 200 million yen. Could it be mine? If so, it'd be bad if anyone else found out about this. I should keep this safe. You hid the passbook and seal. Good idea. Okay, well, I think that's about it. So we'll just talk to Gregor here. And go to bed. Uh, nightmare noises. <laughs> Day two, outing. Sup, stupid bro. Your darling little sister's back. So Layla's here. Okay, no. I don't know, the voice I'm giving her just kind of reminds me of... Well, never mind. I can't be Michelle Ruff. Hey, are you crying? No. I just got sand in my eye. Oh ho! Oh ho! Okay, first she's Salel, now she's Hector. <laughs> you must have been lonely, right? Nope. I told you, I just had sand in my eyes. I don't like sand. Huh? You weren't? Well, that's new. Did you drink your honey milk? Possibly. I bought it with my meager allowance, you know. You better not have thrown it away or something. Well, if I threw it away, it was probably just because the bottle was empty. Oh, there's a little bit left. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. I just love the honey flavor in this. This yumminess is wasted on you. Oh, that reminds me. Why don't we go out for a bit? Just for a change of pace, you know. You'll get all gloomy if you stay cooped up in here. That's totally not why I asked. Well, whatever. Come on, let's go, let's go! Let's go Pokemon Eevee. Buy it for Nintendo Switch today. Okay. <laughs> I'm endorsing a game that I don't even have yet. Oh, or, oh, the weather is so nice today. Well, feeling any better? Or were you able to remember anything? I remember the Alamo. Not really. I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You don't have to remember it all at once. Just take your time. There's no need to rush. 
It's like learning to fly. Or falling in love. <laughs> I'm surprised I even remember that song. You know, I... I kind of hope you don't get your memory back. <laughs> I wonder why. It feels kind of refreshing being able to talk to you like this. <laughs> we, uh... weren't really that close before. We never really talked to each other. But now that you've lost your memory, we have a chance to change all that, you know? I kind of feel like I've been able to get a little bit closer to you. I'm glad I was able to make you... or make you talk again. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to talk to you again. After all, I love you, bro. <laughs> did your heart jump now? Not even a little. It totally did, didn't it? I bet it's beating like crazy right now. Yes, it's going doki doki. Like those four girls in that literature club. They might have skipped a beat. I don't know. <laughs> you really are fun to mess with. That part... Ah. That part about you is the same with or without your memory. I guess it's one of your traits. Now I'm hungry. I need food. Damn it, I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I haven't eaten anything since morning. Let's go grab a bite to eat. I'm starving to death here. You better treat me to something tasty. Oh sure, we'll just go to McDonald's. And then when I get to the front of the line, I'm just gonna slam my hands down on the counter and tell the cashier, I need food! I kind of wonder what would happen if somebody did that in real life. <laughs> what would they do? Come on, you're good for it, right? It's for your cute, adorable little sister, after all. Your adorable, your kawaii little Emoto-chan. Fine. No. Yay! Just as I expected. I had a meal with my sister. I had a big... Or a big whack. And I got her a wick flurry. Naturally, it was her beloved ramen. Okay, sure. McDonald's has ramen. It seemed our relationship, which had been rather cold before I lost my memory, was headed in a better direction. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. Okay, let's see... Okay, I guess nothing in there... Hmm. Clock, do you have anything to tell me? Oh, it was the chair. Okay, Ricardo was sitting there. Hmm. A piece of paper has fallen under the chair. Read it. Stupid, 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 stupid. No. <laughs> Man, what was that? Okay, so just stoop it over and over again. Why does this have to happen to me? Why do I have to pay for other people's crimes? It's fucked up. This world is fucked up. Whose note could this be? For now, I'll just keep it with me. You got someone's note. Yep. 
who wrote it? Well, I have some ideas. Okay. I'm being haunted by a secret Emoto chan. Suspicion. Day three. Suspicion. Hey, Ricona. Yo, how have you been, bro? Sup, fool? I'm just as great as ever. Well, I'm just as hungry as ever, too. Man, I'm hungry. Damn it, I'm hungry. Because I need food. <laughs> how many times have I done that? So what's with the long face? Oh, nothing, I just found this really ominous note. I think you look way cuter when you're smiling. You really have a woman's face. You even look more feminine than some girls. Okay, so he's prettier than some girls, maybe? <laughs> so, do you have a girlfriend? Yes, her name is Sine. But I don't know if she's dead in this universe. I never heard you talk about it. I might have one. I'm not really sure yet. Because I don't think Nagisa killed her. Huh? Really? Anyway, more importantly... I came here today because I want to talk to you about something. Come on, you're gonna be helping your cute little sister wash away- wash her troubles away. Try looking a bit happier. Gotta look up at her adorable face. So anyway, let me get serious for a minute. I'm thinking of going to one of those smart schools. Like a cram school? Yeah, those schools where all the geniuses go to. I know you're probably thinking something like, You of all people? But hey, I'm pretty smart. I've been studying hard, too. I'm sure... Mom and Dad would be proud, too. I think it's a good idea. Sure. Well, see, the problem is money. It's always the money. You're in charge of it, so I can't just use it as I please. That's why I'm always so hungry all the time. And I was thinking, well, I have a right to some of that money too, so I thought to talk to you about it. Well? Okay, so we can either give her the whole thing or just give her her... Uh, you know what, I have to do this twice anyway, so... Anything for my adorable Emoto-chan. Really? Thanks, bro. I knew I could count on you. I'm definitely gonna make something of myself and come back to save you. Count on it. Okay, well, I'm holding you to it then. The next day, Rikana didn't come to see me. The day after that, and the next one too. I kept waiting for her, but she never came. I wonder why that is. I was worried about her. Did she get in an accident? What kind of trouble could she have gotten herself into? Unable to sit around idly, I ran out of the hospital. I desperately searched everywhere for her, but I couldn't find her. Been round the world and I, I, I can't find my baby. <laughs> well, I hope he didn't go that far. A while later, I began looking into my family registry. 
Why? I didn't have a little sister. My deceased mother and father were my only family members. Yep. Now I ain't saying she's a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke broke. Okay. Okay, the closet. There's a note in the po- The pocket. The coat pocket. Mom died today. I'm all alone now. I have some money, at least. Dad left it for me. I'll be okay for a while. From now on, I'll have to live on my own. It's going to be lonely, but I knew this day would come eventually. There are a lot of things written here that have piqued my interest. Could I have written this before I lost my memory? You got someone's note, too. Okay, well... Yep. Okay, I'm still good. I've been robbed. All my money's gone. Give me my money. Day four. Mel Fiori. Several months had passed since then. I found Rakana in town. I followed Rakana so I wouldn't lose track of her, then caught up to her and forcefully grabbed her hand. And she has no soul. Milfiori! What? Don't touch me. You're fucking gross. Huh? Little sister. <laughs> Are you a fucking idiot? You're still saying that stupid shit? From cute to evil looking. There's no fucking way I'd ever be your little sister dipshit. <laughs> I'm so much for that sweetness. She's a demon. Just look at those fangs. What's with that blank scare? It's really disgusting. School? <laughs> of course that was a lie. All I wanted was your money, dumbass. I mean, you got hit by a car, you're a single loser despite being rich, and you lost your memory. And I was the first one to find you. So you bet your ass I got the idea of pretending to be your sister to get loads of money. And hey, I think I did a pretty good job. In the end, you are the very definition of a sucker. You fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. But... I know. Even I thought uh, it was too good to be true. But wow, people really are this easy to trick. I did even better than I expected. <laughs> the person who gets fooled is the one who's at fault. You know, back in the day, I used to be the type who got tricked all the time, so I really know how you feel. Oh man, your face right now is just so great. Do you feel like you want to die now? Aw, look at little Goblin Jr. Wanna cry? Uh, okay, I guess, is this the decision? Blah, is this the decision? Okay, well, last time I messed up. This sounds like a bad one, so... I want to die. I just want to crawl up into my cardboard box and die. Oh, 
Well then, why don't you just die? <sighs> Damn, that's pretty cruel. Right at that moment, something inside of me snapped. I... I pushed Rikana into the street. Huh? Wham. And that's how Regina George died that day. No. Rikana was run over by a car. Well, to be fair, I do think she's pretty much a jerk. So... But I'll get to that when I get to that. She got hit by a car and died. I killed Rikana. Yep, so now he's a murderer. When I came back to my senses, I was running. I was running like hell out of there. I didn't want anyone to suspect me. It would be bad if there were any witnesses. If there happened to be any, I'd kill them. <laughs> leave no witnesses, leave no traces. Is that what you're going for? Those thoughts ran through my mind as I sprinted as fast as I could. I wondered how long I had been running, but I wasn't about to let my legs stop. A dazzling light filled my field of vision. The light was coming from a car. I was a fool. I was a goddamn fool. Both before and after losing my memory, I was a fool, I thought. Rikana, I'm sorry. I'll be there to see you soon. Well, don't be too sorry. Bad end. Together. Heh, <laughs> well duh. You're such a neat. Okay, well I just had to see what she said. Do whatever you want. Okay, so this time... Even though, spoiler alert, it doesn't really make a difference in the end, I'm just gonna give her the amount needed. Okay, so now we're gonna get to the true end. I don't want to die. You failed. Either way, we still get sad music. I see. You're very disgusting, though, seriously. Could you do me a favor and not look at me? You kind of sting too. Do you even bathe? Okay, actually... Does this branch off into another ending? Okay, well first... I guess I'm gonna say... nothing. Just let me say this now. I'm not going to return anything you gave me. After all... You gave it to me. You gave it to me of your own free will. When you hand over money to a person, it's best if you think of it as giving them the money for free, like a gift. Hope that helps. I'm sure you have it rough and all, but I did too, you know. Did you know? I've led a pretty interesting life up until now, all because of my dad's debt. 
It's been a real burden. I used to think, why do I have to live like this when it's not even my debt? So, maybe I just wanted someone else to feel a bit of the pain I went through. I wanted to convey to them, this is how shitty society is, or something. Oh god, that face is so scary. <laughs> but really, I just wanted money. I've been thinking about living on my own. Contaro, was it? You're a guy, so you can make it just fine even if you're broke. Well, it'll be tough for both of us, so let's do our best. So, good luck, dumbass. Jeez. <laughs> Ricano walked off. I simply stood there, dumbfounded. Even though she said those horrible things, even though she tricked me and stole my money, all I could do was watch her from behind as she walked away. I... I started walking. I still couldn't believe it. Had Rikana really gotten involved with me simply to take the money my parents had left me? Yep. I still believed in Rikana. Well, she's a lost cause. I'm telling you now. I wanted to believe in her. Even though she said she would never come back to me. Even though she would never call me bro again. Don't just run forward without watching where you're going, stupid. It's dangerous. I felt as if she would just scold me like that. And I just kept running forward. And then it happened. I got hit by a car. I hear sirens. True end. Money is everything. We've got to have money. Okay, well, I don't know if saying give me my money back will change anything. I probably... D I doubt it. I'll still check, but I'll probably throw up like a annotation or whatever in case it's not. But yeah, so Nagisa was the true yonder in this one. Rikana, I guess, is more of like a... well, kind of a gold digger. A con artist probably would be a better way to say it. Because she doesn't really try to kill you, she just... she's just after money and she has her debt to pay off. And there's actually a fan-made game based around Rikana. It's not made by Sharon, but it is kind of based off Mixore. And I probably will play that one as well. So I guess even though it's not canon to the Sharon cinematic universe, I think it does an okay job of expanding on her character a little bit. Versus here where I just flat out do not like her. This other game kind of makes her a little more likable, but, well, not by a whole lot. But anyways, I guess unless there's anything else, that'll do it for Rakana's route. Next time, we're going to check in with the last of the three girls. So I will see you guys then. Later, folks.